<laughs> I missed. Finn, I missed. Wake up, Junior. Throw at me. Junior, wake up. Finn, go get him. Come here, get up here. You go get Bonzo. Get Bonzo. You attack. Attack. He protect. He attack. Get Bonzo. I'm on my break. He looks like he's protecting you from me. You're on your break. We don't get breaks around here. 30 minute break. No, no, we don't. We don't abide by the laws. What's the, what's the organization that protects that? Yeah, we don't follow those rules. That's right, Finn. Work hard, play hard. That's what I'm talking about. Sh let's shake on it. I agree. Thank you. What, do you. what do you think you're doing over here? You look really suspicious the way you're sitting. Sorry. He just says sorry. What do you, is that a text message? Oh, Not I saw a lot of blue and I was like, yo, you're in trouble. Oh, God. Dude, I'm someone sniped you in the other video. I know. They're like, he got paragraphed. He's in yeah. trouble, you know? a bad deal. Well, folks, look back to Fish with Flair. Today, you know, I'm not sure. I think we should probably go to the farm, boys. I feel like that's, I mean, it's essentially what we do in every video, but you're, oh, now you're up. I said farm. What about this? You think you're amped now? Farm and frog legs. How excited are you now? I'm hungry. Now you know you, I love my frogs. You're excited. I say we go do it. I say we just go start slaying them. You coming with us? You want to go frog hunting? You want to go frog hunting? Let's go frog hunting. Come on. Let's go frog hunting. He has no idea what I'm saying Frogs right now. The size of him. True. You better watch out, buddy. You might get eaten. I say we do a scope cam. You guys loved the first frog video. We're coming back with frog video number two, and it's going to be scope cam footage, which you know what that means. It's even going to be more graphic than the last one, which means today's video is going to get demonetized, which means today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Huge thanks to Raid for sponsoring today's episode. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is Raid Shadow Legends. If you guys haven't played this game, you're missing out. This game is absolutely epic, and uh, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about it. Raid Shadow Legends is a brand new collection RPG game that is taking the mobile gaming landscape by storm. Almost 10 million players worldwide have already downloaded the game in just three months. It has great graphics, strategic gameplay, huge boss fights, and an amazing storyline with over 400 champions for you to collect and personally customize. Personally, this is my favorite champion. This is Sniper, look at her. Does she not look like she could just snipe some? Look at the, look at the arrow, right there. She is a freaking beast, I'm telling you what. What I love about this game is that everyone can find something for himself. Some love collecting characters, some are all about the deep storyline and the graphics. I personally am down for combating against other live players, but that's just me. The game is free to play and you can enjoy PVP battles in arena, PVE in dungeons, and cool huge boss fights. Personally, I think the game is amazing because you don't just have to take my word for it. Almost 200,000 reviews have been made on Raid and they almost have a perfect score on the Play Store. There's also a really awesome loyalty reward program that you get new daily login rewards for the first 90 days that you play the game. So go download the game, look me up under Flare Daddy. Come join, you might even be able to join my clan if you're fast enough. You get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion for free. All you gotta do is go download it, go click it down below, you get all that stuff Stuff. Again, you come play with me, let's go to battle together, and let's go have some fun. So with that being said, I'm gonna play this game on the drive down to the farm, of course. I'm not gonna be driving. Slayman, bad news, boy. You're driving. Oh, God. Rip. We're headed to the farm. Woo! Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Fish with Player. Today, we're not fishing. I know. Big shocker, right? Today, we brought the mommy car. Is it, is it the mommy car or the mommy hunter car? I need clarification here, John. Mommy Hunter. Oh, okay, Mommy Hunter. So, you know, some of you guys might think, hey, the mom car, but you got it all wrong. It's the Mommy Hunter car. Well, we're out here with the boys, the whole group. They're actually bringing around the toys today. We're going on an adventure. It is frogging season. Ew! Well, Sammy got the old bro pet out. Where's Bonzo? <laughs> welcome to the farm. You're supposed to say welcome to the farm. <laughs> well, we got the toys. You fix the horns, damn it, Bonzel. They're on backwards. They're going the other way. They're the wrong way. You gotta, you gotta fix it. It looks cooler like that. We, it looks. Do you want to, you want to do it? No, we're not. Don't touch it. Don't, don't touch my horns, damn it. They look fine. They look good. Also, it's like more like child protective proof that way. Cause like if they're pointing out, like what if a toddler runs in front of this? Like you think I'm just gonna spear him right in the jugular? Like no, no, we don't need it. We don't need that happening, Bonzel. And you might be questioning, when are there ever toddlers at the farm? You never know, okay? Bonzel might just have a bunch of kids that nobody knows about. They do call me Bonz Daddy. Anyways, as I was saying is we've got the toys today. We're on a mission though. The mission today is to hunt down some bullfrogs. It is bullfrog season, S-Z-N. Season. Today's gonna be interesting. We're gonna break out the old classic scope cam. Give you guys a POV 
of uh, shooting frogs. Where the odds, boys, this gets demonetized. 101%? Yeah. This might actually be up there with one of the worst because you know what happens after you shoot a frog. I mean, I've seen videos. Yeah, it's it not good. Kind of explodes. So, viewer discretion is advised. Warning, this is my warning to you if you guys are young, impressionable viewers that don't want to see blood and guts. Click out the video now. This is not going to be good for you. If you don't care about that stuff and you're like, hell yeah, Flair, go get it, then just you guys stay tuned. Me the hell away from this thing. All right, got that out of this system. We gotta make sure our 22s are caliber. What do you call it? Cali not, ca not calibrated. Dialed, dialed in. We gotta dial in the, the gun. Boom, we got 55, I think it's 50 or 55. Round drum, plenty of frogs to kill. Got the scope on it with the scope cam. Let's see if I can hit something. Four for four, boys. Let's go kill some bullfrogs. Shoo! What are you, what are you about, ready to raid Area 51 or what? Oh, yeah. We strapped? Sheesh, guys. These are all 22s. These are all the 22s we've acquired. We've actually bought one, two, not that one, but that one in just the last, like, two months. Yeah. We're stacking up the arsenal, we need boys. We a 22 uh, pistol, revolver. Maybe you should buy one. You know, give me a break for once. Flair doesn't always have to buy everything, you know. Bonzo could step up. Bonzo daddy, you know, we know everybody's got Bonzo daddy money. You guys need to comment down below. Convince him to go buy the pistol, okay? Flair daddy's capped out with guns. But we got four. That means there's one, two, three, four. Yes, I can count. I know, I dropped out. We everybody got to pick a gun. Hmm. Actually, I'll go last. I'll let you, I'll let you boys, you boys do your nice thing. Guy. My nice guy. Well, Slayman, go ahead. All right, you got to pick one. Right, and you got to give a reason behind it. You know what I mean? Like, I want this one because... Go with a good old bolt. You know? Woo! Old the, the, the bolty. I mean, favorite yeah, one. I already knew you. My favorite one. Gosh dang it, dude. That's what I wanted. You got. I knew you'd take the hundred. That's the sickest gun ever, dude. I love that gun. Okay, so now, are you trying to go try hard with the scope in the uh, ton of rounds? Or are you going to make it more of a challenge with the OSTG? I'm going to challenge my inner Call of Duty rolled at war. We're going back Sheesh to the OSTG. Guy. Sheesh guy. It looks the coolest too. It does so. look, I would say it does look yeah, the coolest style out of everything. Points. So I'm left with this guy, which, you know, I'm not mad about because I know like I'm pretty much guaranteed to hit stuff because these guys are all iron sights, which isn't a terrible thing. You guys will hit something probably, maybe. But I mean, if I miss, it's when I know I'm cheeks. So I'm going to take the scoped gun, which I already, again, shot and hit the hit the little clay targets. Let's take the take and the bro pad. Let's go look for some bullfrog because you guys stay tuned. All right, so just made it to the spot. Sam, you pick first or you're up first. No pressure. So we're gonna kind of walk. This is the road that goes to my house. Look, it's not flooded anymore. Remember when I was complaining, I was saying, hey, hey guys, joke's over. And then it like went down the next day. Look, it's almost dry, almost the whole thing. It's, it's good. I mean, we're, we're making progress here. So we're gonna, I see, I mean, there's tons of little frogs everywhere. Fun eaters. So. Tons of little frogs. We figured the big daddies are gonna be hanging out with them. So we're just gonna kind of walk this and we're gonna rotate people, you know, after you shoot, whether you hit or miss, you only get one shot and then it goes to the next person. Yeah, one in the chamber. Frog edition. Frog edition. I like it, Bonzo. Dude, look how many are I know, there's, there's like a trillion right there. I don't see any big ones though. Oh, just see little guys, I mean, a ton. A ton of little guys. I mean, like, just, y'all can't see them, but they're going everywhere. There's one right there, right there, in the bush, in the bush. Oh, yeah. oh God, yeah. Okay, all right, hang on, chill. Watch out, everybody stand back. Sheesh, no the pressure's on No pressure, guy. big guy, no pressure. All right, aim for the dome. Oh, God. I was a little high, I think. Really? Dude, that explosion was so bad. <laughs> you would think, like, the concussion of it. I don't see him either. All right, boys, here we go. She don't. She gone. She doggy. That's a decent one. That ain't a cat. We're looking for the kitty cats, but hey, she ain't too bad. That'll eat, boys. Number one in the bag. As far as I can go, boys. Oh, you can make it. As far as I can go, boys. I'm coming in. See you later, bro -ped. I mean, bro -ped's all right in the off-road, but not great. We all, we're all jumping in the tank now. It's game time. I say we park it here and walk. I think, I, I see a ton of little ones, but I think we should just walk it. This is a dead fish if you want that. Really? Bonzo spotted a dead fish. Wonder what kind it is, it's probably a carp. Rip, my dude, rip. I'm not gonna touch you, you're gross. There's carp here, boys, you can go fishing. Let's all strap up, get ready for battle. Slamming, you're up, Junior. No pressure, big guy. Is that one right next to that pole, dude? Oh, oh God, that's a cat, oh dude. That's a straight God. cat. I don't know if I've seen one bigger than that's that. That's a dude. That's a straight cat. Don't mess this up, Junior. That's good meat, there, boy. 
uh, on go. Three, two, one, go. Oh! Rip my guy, rip! Oh, sorry boys. Oh, that, one, that one's alive, isn't it? Oh my god, that's huge. Take, take the Henry, hang on. Watch out boys, fire in the hole! Got him, yep, you got I him. got him. Right there. Oh, 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 yep. Oh, <laughs> Rest in peace to the demonetization on this video. Yep. Damn, there's some good frog legs there, boy. You got one here? Oh, that's gross. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when I said about the demonetization? Not good. We're looking for King Daddy Frog right now. We don't want these little guys. There's like a billion little ones. We don't want these guys. We just want the freaking huge ones. Oh, right here, right here. No way. Is that a yeah, you got, him. Got, you got him. You got him. You got him. I see him. I see him. Sam just toasted a freaking big and boys. Oh. Okay, we gotta be careful, we gotta be careful. Oh, there's another big one. Okay, hang on, Man, hang on, hang on. We gotta grab this guy, see him? That's a big one. Oh, there yeah. you go, there you go, big guy. Shoo! There you go, yeah. got yourself a big one there. That, that'll that eat there, son, that's a big one. It's a good one. Yes, sir. All right, boys, we need a couple more for dinner. Don't mess this up. I got you, don't worry. Oh! There he is, see him? See him? Uh, he's Fonzo, switch me. I got him. Yeah, he's floating there. Oh god. Look at that one. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Ready? Oh yeah. Yep. She gone. You. I'll go grab that one. You know it. In the dome. She gone. Decent one there, boy. Oh, right through the ear. Oh, God, yeah. Look Sheesh. That. We're getting them now. I'd say two more. Two more for the boys. That's plenty of food. Uh-oh. Slayman's bringing out the scoped gun. Here we go, boys. Got him. She gone. Cheese and rice, boys. We were talking about kitty cats, boys. Shoot. Shoot. This was meowing. Yikes. Dude, that was a straight headshot. Oh, my gosh. That is a tank, dude. Those are... I mean, look how big they are, dude. You got him, big guy. Somewhere. Oh, oh, there he is. That's home. It's home. Oh, sheesh. Heck yeah. That's those a, legs. That's a big one. Been I'm hitting the squats, eh? I'm excited to eat these. You're, you, you know, I know. You love. You know how I love frogs. You love the frogs, yeah. man. All right, boys. I think that's a wrap. So we take these back and we'll skin them, clean them, and cook them. She's steamy out here, boys. I feel like I'm in a sauna. We're gonna do a little cleaning session here. So again, if you guys hadn't get the point, warning. Viewer discretion advised. Videos monetized. If you don't like guts, probably should click out now. We got the fryer. We got the franks, and we got. The flour, we're ready to do some cooking. Sheesh, boys. Oh, so nothing like July frogging, you know what I mean? The stench. The stench gets you. Here we go, boys. Clean tutorial brought to you by ya boy. All right, make a small incision across the back here. You wanna have a sharp knife, which believe it or not, I don't. Take some skizzers, start cutting that skin. You just wanna make a nice long streak along their back, just like this. Once you got that section cut, grab yourself a pair of pliers. Grab right down here. Give it a pinch and a slow pull. Boom. Just like that. Then, take your scissors. Cut right here at the joints. One and two. Done. Then, hold it right here and you're going to cut right there. Just give it a nice cut. Boom. There you go. There's your meat, boys. Frog legs. Dunzo. We gotta do this about five, six more times and throw them in the grease. Riggs, how's it going, Bubba? Did you come to get some frogs? Riggs loves his frogs. Boom. Franks. Boom. Flower. Boom. Frogs that don't won't lift up because the plate's too big. So first step is we're gonna double dip them. Yeah, we're double dipping them, right? So, so does that mean you go flour, Frank's flour, or or is it Frank's, Frank's flour, Frank's, Frank's flour? No, that, that's that. a, that's oh. like a triple dip. That's like against oh, the law or something. So start with flour to dry them out. You only want a light dusting of this though, like so yeah. you you'll want to dust it on off on these, this plate here. Fill it with air. 
and there's an air pocket. And you, give it, changer. you give it the give it a touch. Just a light dusting is all you're gonna need. And you're gonna want to get as much of this off as you can. See, just a light dusting, just to cover it. That's gonna help the Franks stay on there, I think. Then throw them in there. We'll do a couple. Yeah, we'll get really get them dusted off here. We'll do four. So then you take what's in the Franks and give that a mixing around. Get them all covered in the juices here. Now that you've covered them in Franks, you throw them back in the flour. Game changer, I know. You don't want a ton on there either because it get all kind of clumped up. Give them a nice dropping in there. Now mix it back up with flour. And then the ones that you've taken off here, make sure them are dusted off and put them in there. This can be two batches essentially of frog legs. So once Bonza gets those all figured out here, then you take them out and then those go straight into the fry. You want to get all the excess off like that. We're going to lay them right in the basket. We might only want to do a couple to start just to, yeah, see like all that jumbled mess. You got to, you want to do this inside, indoors. So it's, you want to make sure that you just get your entire kitchen covered in flour. I feel like that's going to be an interesting one. Should we just do that and start? Yeah. Okay. She's going in boys. Fire in the hole. Throw the lid on. Wait till the darn things float and take them out and shove in your mouth. Well, they about that bad. They're just kind of flaky. The Not batter didn't really stay that well. I feel like we double dipped them. You would have thought it would have been better, eh? Should we just try this real quick? Or do you want to dump it in Frank's and then do it? I want to try one in Frank's. So let's do one in one. So let's do yep. and then that one. Throw and that then one in there. Bonzo wants to end it in Frank's. So let's see what this does. Well, that should be interesting. What the hell? That looks good. It looks like a buffalo chicken wing. Yeah. The other one came out better though. That one looks better though. I don't know. If I if I was to eat one, I think that looks the most delicious. It, it does look pretty good. Maybe yeah. we should just do maybe do like half and half, like a couple more yeah. like that, a couple like the other one. You can see why Macy loves when I cook in the house. Going in the fryer, boys. She's popping! <laughs> Ew! Ooh, those look good. It's going on the plate, boy. All right, a few more batches going. We're just doing regular. We gotta, we gotta go against traditional versus Bonzo style. Sheesh! How are those ones looking? Oh, well, those look way good. better, dude. Yeah. I feel like maybe we just rushed the first, like I think we rushed like the flour, flour process. Part. Like you gotta let it, like the flour marinate. The ones we let sit in the bucket. Those, those look difference. good. Like yeah. those, yeah. those were the same, same thing. That was the same process. Those look really good. And those look like straight cheeks. So I'm interested to see. Yeah. Those ones. So let's. Frank's these versus. ones aren't gonna be as hot. So we're gonna eat these guys first. All right, boys. It's mukbang time. I don't know what that word means, but I've seen it on YouTube, so I'll probably put it in the title for views. So should we try traditional first or bonzo style first? Bonzo style. <laughs> All right, I'm feeling take it. your pick, boys. It looks good. Yeah, it does. All right, ready? Tastes good. Oh my oh, God, oh. <laughs> so good. Uh-oh, it tastes it's crunchy. It tastes like a buffalo wild wing. Dude, it's like, re like really crunchy, not just like a flaky, yeah. it's like crunch, crunch. You get more of that buffalo mm -hmm. flavor. That's like, Really good. If I got this at a restaurant, I wouldn't be pissed. You want to do original? No, these were like OGs. Okay. These were single dips. Okay. Or no, 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 they were double dips. They were right. double dips. But they weren't Frank dips. Yes. They weren't Bonzo dips. Ready for the original? I mean, it's good. Not nearly as good no. though. Not it's a lot really more really bland. Good. It's way too bland. Like you just taste like flour. You need dip. This needs dip in sauce. Like if you dipped it in Franks, where's that Franks good. at? John wanted ranch. John's a big ranch guy. So we decided Bonzel's is good as is. I mean, no sauce needed. These guys, we got some Franks and some some ranch as the dipping sauce. So I'm gonna go in for the Franks and see how it compares to Bonzel's no dip Franks. See if it's anywhere even close. <laughs> That's hot as hell. Oh God. Oh God. That's hot AF, boys. But these taste a lot crispier. Did you get the crispy? Yeah. Yeah. With the Franks, it's not bad. Without Franks, it's, it's it's pretty cheeky. But with the Franks, it's really not all that bad. I'll try it with the ranch. Do Johnny style. That's so hot, Oob. <gasps> oh, my God. Mmm. <laughs> Johnny, you're right. Y'all got to try it in the ranch. It's really good in the ranch. I think better than the Franks. You know what would actually be the best is if you mix the two. But that's for a different video. The ranch is really good. It tastes like a chicken nugget at that point. Mmm. It does. If with ranch, it's pretty good. So I would say, Bonzo style, you don't need anything. Ranch with Bonzo style could be like, 
next level just straight up chicken like kentucky fried chicken style i would say ranch would probably be the deal with ranch is good I, I i'm not gonna lie like with the actual ranch i enjoy eating it if you guys haven't had frog legs y'all are missing out man I'll tell you what kai dogs here the important taste tester these are the two that those are like two good pieces <laughs> so you can pick which one you want we'll call it red and orange and you gotta tell us which one you think is the best yeah. You ever had frog These legs? Are, no, never. Oh, really? No. Okay. Frog yeah, it's just like a chicken wing. I mean, there'll be a little <laughs> bit different things in there, but. Would you think that's a frog leg if you were blindfolded? Or would you know what that is? I think that was a bad chicken leg. The the veins in there freak me you out. You can't a look bit, at man. it. That's the whole game. You can't you can't look at it. It tastes pretty good though. Like the actual taste of it, I feel like isn't yeah. that bad, is it? No. I yeah. I'd, I'd eat it. I mean, for something that's just running around in, in the mm -hmm. creeks and the ponds around here, you know? It doesn't really taste swampy or no. fishy. Frog leg bone's bad for a dog. <laughs> oh, he liked it. He didn't, yeah. he... he didn't even do. Yeah, he didn't was happy. More. He's a fan. All right, so now you got to take a bite of this one and tell us which one you like better. Hmm? You like that one? I take it back. I like this one. Really? really? That's a shocker. It, it, you can taste more of the frog. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not covered up as much. Mm -hmm. So what we did was we double dipped all of them. So it went in flour first, then Frank's, then flour. Except that one we put it, or the other one we put it back in Frank's and just fried it in wet Frank's. So the outside it was wet, that one was dry. So that so one just flour on the outside. That, that one, one had Frank's yeah. on the outside. I like this you, one. Really? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, really? we, all, we all thought it was the other way around. Yeah, no, I don't know. I mean, it just, I mean, that one taste has a stronger hot wing. Yeah, it tastes stuff, like a hot wing. But yeah, I like this. Tastes more like frog. Well, folks, there you go. You have it. Everybody liked them. We are all pretty good. We all three thought, well, four thought that Bonzo style was better. Kyle thought just traditional was better. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, let me know in the comment section down below. Let us know what else you want to see for frog legs. We've shot them. We've shot them with bows. What about blow darts? I don't Can you do slingshots? Maybe slingshots. Gig, topwater frog. Maybe suggest some different recipes. Maybe we should maybe we should leave the Franks and the fry. That'd be hard for me to do. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below if there's a better recipe that you guys know of or a better method to catching them that you guys know. Really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Peace.